We are near Cordova, in the south of Spain, and stalked within shooting range to a group of mouflon that were resting in the sun. I did not feel comfortable to shoot at the mouflon while he was laying down. As a hunter, you have to be patient. What happened? Did I miss? This is definitely one of the worst feelings. A missed shot is always the second best shot in the world. Let's hope I did not just wound the mouflon. So here he is guys, my first ram. Um, we had an amazing, amazing morning. Uh, the wind was in our favor, the guide did a great job. Uh, we had the sun in our back and the wind in our face. Uh, that's why uh, the mouflon couldn't see us. Uh, so we stalked up, up on the hilltop and watched down and found the group of mouflon. And so we knew we just had to wait. He was laying down when I first saw him and I wasn't comfortable taking a shot while he was laying. Uh, I knew if we are doing everything right, he will get up and not too fast. And that's exactly what happened. And I was able to place a clean shot. And uh, what a great experience uh, here in Spain. Um, we've talked about the age. My guide uh, thinks he's five years old. I think he's four years old. So we agreed on meeting in the middle He's a four and a half year old ram. So at first I thought, uh, just from the reaction of the animal, I thought I may missed and shot too low. Uh, when we did the control shot this morning, uh, you saw that I was probably two centimeters low. Um, and I zeroed the rifle two centimeters high. Um, but the area is very bushy um, uh, so I didn't expect to go over 300 um, I shot the ram at a little under 140 meters that's what the bullet is designed for uh, we got the uh, RWS uh, speed tip professional it's a long range bullet and it's designed to kill at long ranges uh, because it has a fragmentation tip uh, that will well, fragment and leave a devastating damage um, into the soft tissue of the animal. And um, at first, I didn't find the bloody point of uh, the bloody point of impact, and I was like, "Damn, did I really miss?" Uh, but I didn't. Um, the guys were going to the left, uh, checking the the blood trail, um, and then we saw, okay, we got a we got a dead ram. So everything went quite well here in Spain. On the first day, first stalk, uh, what more can you ask for? Time to skin the ram. Since it's my first mouflon, I decided to go for a shoulder mount. Make sure to bring enough coat to the taxidermist. I made a cut right in front of the rear legs. Lunchtime in Spain. Our guest father Enrique prepared something special for us. Unbelievable. Um, so we arrived, uh, we skinned uh, the mouflon uh, to give it to the taxidermist, and we arrived, and uh, this is what happened. Uh, so 
It's like dinner in paradise. I'm really, really stunned by this view. The fire, lamb chops, awesome cheese, great olives that are out of the region. There's nothing you can ask more. And of course, after the Hunter Coat uh, beer, Ceresa. Cheers, guys. A wonderful day comes to an end. Uh, we were very successful uh, on our first stalk. Uh, we had a beautiful lunch um, with probably the best uh, scenery you can ask for. The whole area is absolutely amazing. Uh, as far as you can see, uh, we have hunting land. So that's the place to be down south here in Spain. Uh, we will come back tomorrow and let's see what this day brings. Our morning routine, get a fresh hot coffee to bring our spirits back to life. Spain is up very early. From here we will drive back to Enrique to hunt for red stags or maybe a second mouflon. Spain has a strong red deer population. We had to make a plan for the day and start to stalk as early as possible. We spotted a single mouflon ram. bushy terrain to my advantage and crawl within shooting range. Great shot, well done, well done. Oh. We really did it. Well, <laughs> that's exactly uh, what we were here for. Uh, what a great long range shot. Um, we measured the distance, it was 244 meters, 245 from there. So um, I got a stable position, uh, backpack was useful as hell. Uh, went down and uh, zeroed on the animal and took a clean shot, uh, really, really nice. Couldn't have been any better, couldn't have been any better.
So this worked quite well. Um, we had a really exciting stalk. Um, it was pure luck in my point of view uh, that we saw this guy. You probably saw the environment. Um, it's We have a lot of hills uh, and a lot of thick bush areas uh, where the mouflon uh, find food and they also find shelter and they disappear within a second and we found this guy standing here uh, all by itself and when my guide Enrique uh, says well okay uh, Stefan it's good to take a uh, go for it um, we measured the distance and uh, we were over 250 meters and I knew this is nothing I want to do from the uh, stable sticks or from the shooting stick um, I need a, I need to go into prone position and uh, so he well we managed or figured out a plan uh, to uh, use the terrain in our advantage and I had to crawl the last meters which was pretty exciting took the backpack and I got a stable rest measured the distance one more time the short distance was 244 meters and I knew that the uh, well, the RWS bullet and the 300 Winchester Magnum are directly or specially designed for stuff like this. Long range shooting um, and the bullet did a great job. Uh, it was a clean and ethical kill. The mouflon dropped right on the spot. Um, and well, I couldn't be more happy. Uh, when I was crawling onto the or well, basically in position, I placed my backpack, put the rifle on there, and then I knew I only had to concentrate on the trigger pull. Squeeze the trigger nice, increase pressure, increase the pressure, and then the, the shot came, and uh, now we're here. So well done. Thank you, Spain. Thank you, Luis de la Torriente. Without, the, without you, this wouldn't be uh, possible at all so I'm really really thankful and uh, I'm still thinking how I can revenge uh, or uh, give back the favor I think that's the better word for it so we need to do something special so now it's on camera I uh, will do something great my friend So nothing goes to waste guys, uh, Jose, uh, the gamekeeper here uh, will uh, open the mouflon now. He, I asked him if I can do it, but he said no, no, I show you how to do it. So we will process all the meat, nothing goes to waste. I will call this the fast cut from now on. Jose was unbelievable fast in cutting the mouflon down. He told me that his wife is cooking a fantastic stew with it. And that's it guys, two wonderful hunting days on the Majestic Mouflon are coming to an end. Uh, we got welcome so warm and uh, we're here in the region of Cordova uh, in the down south in Spain. Uh, I cannot thank you enough one more time Luis and Enrique, our guest father here, uh, that led us through the property and I'm really happy uh, how this trip turned out. We got two Mouflon, uh, what else can you ask for? So. I hope you like the videos. If uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to our new channel. And this helps us to produce videos like this for you. So stay safe and keep on hunting. Okay, so we arrived close to our uh, next hunting destination for the Monteria, and Luis brought us to a town called El Rocío, and it's absolutely crazy because there's no real. Um, pavement on the ground. Every, the whole city is filled with sand and it looks like the Wild West. 
uh, and a lot of people are partying and I think it's very religious. Uh, let's check them out. Luis is recognized everywhere in Spain. No wonder as one of the main characters on Ibaralia TV. Luis, 